Do you like pie? Do you like torches? Do you like pie torches? Do you like pie torch and apple silicon together? <laughs> what am I doing? I don't know. Anyway, got an announcement today. Check it out. Thanks to Thomas Capel for pointing this out to me. May 18th, 2022, introducing accelerated pie torch training on Mac. Now more to come. I'm gonna do some testing. I'm gonna do comparisons once I get to that point. But this is news and this is good news because we've been waiting for this. In collaboration with Apple, PyTorch team has now created a GPU bound PyTorch training on Mac. Did that sentence make sense? Now prior to this, PyTorch only worked with a CPU on a Mac. And now they'll be able to take advantage of the GPU. Hopefully this will unlock significantly faster training. You might've caught some of my videos doing TensorFlow tests with uh, Apple Silicon versions of that. And I tested the uh, Nvidia versus the M1 Max and the M1 Ultra chips. And I was looking forward to this moment when PyTorch was gonna be supported because I use PyTorch actually for some of the work that I do. So now maybe I'll be able to run my PyTorch models finally on a Mac on my M1 Ultra over here. So it's not just sitting there as a paperweight. I'm just kidding, I use it sometimes. It's got metal acceleration, folks. Accelerated GPU training is enabled using Apple's metal performance shaders. Anybody know what that is? I don't know what that is. I'm not really that familiar with metal. If the PyTorch layer will talk to the metal layer and that works with GPU, then great. This further goes on to show you some cool charts. Let's see here. I'm guessing that these numbers here mean the number of times. This says speed up over CPU on the left here. So I'm guessing that's 20 times faster for this particular data set, batch size 64, and that's the evaluation, not the training. So the training looks like it's about six to eight times faster, and the evaluation is maybe 14 to 22 times faster, depending on what model you're using, what data set. This chart is a little wacky, but maybe it's just showing that things are great. How to get started? Well, here's a link to Nightly Build. This is a page where you can customize your download. Uh, you got the stable version, you got the Nightly Build, I guess that's the one we need and the long-term support, the LTS version. So I'm gonna do nightly. I do use Conda and I want Mac. Unfortunately, it looks like all these are grayed out. The compute platform, the only option is CPU, but maybe it just works and it detects the GPU when you're running on Apple Silicon. So I'll just have to trust it and try this out. Anyway, if you wanna see those tests, make sure you subscribe to the channel and hopefully I'll be doing them pretty soon. All right, folks, see you later.